United States is hearing oral arguments in the case of Dobbs versus uh, Jackson Women's Health Organization. This co case has come to the court. Uh, this case has come to the court as a challenge to a Mississippi state law that bans nearly all abortions after 15 weeks gestation. If the court allows this law to stand, it will overturn the core finding of the landmark Roe v. Wade decision that abortion is a right to all Americans prior to fetal viability, and it will spell the end of a right to abortion in this country. It's not just Mississippi, y'all. Right here in McDowell County, the Board of Commissioners recently voted in favor of a resolution calling upon the state legislature to pass a so-called heartbeat bill that would effectively ban all abortions in North Carolina. So it's not just an abstract threat. The right to an abortion is under threat right here, right now. The right to an abortion, the right of women and others who face pregnancy to control their own bodies and make their own decisions, that didn't fall out of the sky. It wasn't granted out of the munificent benevolence of our rulers. That right was won through struggle, decades of struggle, generations of struggle and bitter struggle at that. People have gone to prison to win this right. People have died for this right. The case before the court today puts all that has been won through that struggle at risk. You hear every day in this country about our democracy, but I want you to look at what's happening here and ask yourselves, what democracy? Because today is a reminder that all it takes is five people, five unelected, unaccountable judges and the stroke of a pen and your rights, our rights can disappear overnight. Five people and our struggles, our suffering and our votes don't count. Democracy, give me a break. I want everyone here today to understand what is at stake. Attacks on abortion are not about religion. They are not about morality. This is about power and control. The capitalist ruling class wants the power to make decisions about our bodies and our lives. They want to control us. They want the poor and working people of this country to raise the next generation of their wage slaves, and they want to do it well, at our expense. It doesn't stop at abortion. It can't stop at abortion. I'm a transgender woman, but I, I will never need an abortion. But I need the right to bodily autonomy. I can't even exist as myself without it. If women and pregnant people don't have the right to make choices about their bodies, what does that say about my body, my choice?